Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and it's 11.42 a.m., and it's Saturday, December 25th, 2021, day's Christmas, so aw oh, yeah, boys, aw oh, yeah, aw oh, yeah, Merry Christmas, so aw oh, yeah. So yeah, Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas, so aw oh, yeah, boys, aw oh, yeah, but um, anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the other flavor of these Black Rifle Coffee Company Espresso 300 milligrams Triple Shot Energy Drinks that I got. Um, I was going to get this, um, about a week ago. But, um, I decided not to buy them, and I waited a few days. But then, after I waited a few days and I got them, they didn't have this flavor. They were sold out. So, um, a few days ago, I went after I got paid and they had it. So, aw oh yeah, boys, aw oh yeah. So, yeah, anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the last one of these that my local grocery store Homeland had. But, um, anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the Rich Mocha Black Rifle Coffee Company Espresso 300 milligrams Triple Shot Coffee Drink. So, aw oh yeah, boys, look at that can. Aw oh yeah, aw oh yeah, aw oh yeah, aw oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Anyway, it has silver top with the silver tab. Bombs of Best Buy date and production code. Best Buy January 2nd, 2023. So it's still fresh for almost a year. I don't know if you can really see it too well. But yeah. It's in a labeled can, it's pretty smooth. Right on the top it says Rich Mocha, natural and artificially flared coffee beverage. Rich Mocha, it says the same thing on the other side. It has like a red striper on the top. Veteran owned, it has American flag, Black Rifle Coffee Company. Espresso 300 milligrams, triple shot, 100% Colombian coffee. Natural caffeine plus focus, 15 foot ounces, 143 milliliters. It's like a black camouflage, like background pattern. Looks pretty cool, like the look of the can, you know. But yeah, um, I got this in my local grocery store homeland a few days ago, but I went last night, and um, they were sold out of it again. Because when I got this, I only had like four cans left on the shelf. So, um, I guess this flavor has been selling pretty good in my town anyway. Maybe unless um, someone bought them and then they restocked them, and they maybe only had like a few cans in their storage or whatever. Not really for sure, but um, yeah, they're sold out again, see what I mean? Um, but yeah, um, a few days ago, well, when I got the other flavors that I was going to review... They're actually on sale for two for five dollars, but um, this one wasn't on sale since I got it a few days ago. And it was like two sixty nine for one can, so yeah, maybe if you can get them on sale, it'd be probably a better deal. But um, it's still I think it's an okay price for a coffee drink, so you want know I mean? But um, anyway, yeah, it has the Black Rifle Coffee Company logo, serving coffee and culture to people who love America. Better known, three hundred milligrams natural caffeine of Freedom Fuel. Mission Focus plus MCT oil, good source of protein, amino acids, 100% daily vitamin C, experience BRCC at, has the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube logos, America's Coffee has American Flag again, SKU, join the club, BlackRifleCoffee.com, probably distributed by Black Rifle Coffee Company, one more, one, sorry, stuttered, 1144 South 500 West. Salt Lake City, Utah, Utah, Texas, Tennessee, USA. Produced in the United States for Mexican import ingredients. Best served children over ice and show some ice cubes and stuff. Unlike a glass cup. Enjoy by date on can. Refrigerator after opening. It has a recycling logo. Don't be trashy. Please recycle. It has some recycling stuff. Nutrition facts. One serving container. Serving size 15 foot ounces. 443 milliliters. Amount per serving calories 130. Total fat 2.5 grams. 3%. Saturated fat 2.5 grams. 13%. Trans fat 0 grams, cholesterol 5 milligrams, 2%, sodium 290 milligrams, 13%. Carbohydrates 20 grams, 7%, dietary fiber 1 gram, 4%. Total sugars 18 grams, includes 17 grams added sugars, 34%. Protein 5 grams, 10%. Vitamin D 0 micrograms, 0%, iron 0 milligrams, 0%, vitamin A 144 micrograms, 15%, vitamin E 2 milligrams, 15%. Calcium 134 milligrams, 10%, potassium 268 milligrams, 6%, vitamin C 89 milligrams, 100%. Then it has the other ingredients. It has the Colombian coffee, which is water and coffee, non-fat, ultra-filtered milk, sugar, medium chain triglycerides, cellulose gel, cocoa, salt, L-arginine, L-glutamine, carrageenan, has L-isoleucine and sucralose, L-valine, L-leucine, and the other vitamins. Contains milk, gluten-free, and has the U in a circle. Contains bioengineered food ingredients, caffeine from all sources, 300 milligrams per serving. Caffeine values may vary based on coffee sources. I recommend for children, people sensitive to caffeine, pregnant women, or women who are nursing. 
So yeah, that's pretty much the entire can. It has 300 milligrams of caffeine. So, oh yeah, boys, it will get you lit, you know? So, oh yeah, oh yeah, just saying. So, oh yeah, it's really strong to only drink in moderation. Probably shouldn't drink and have any anxiety problems, but you know what I mean? But um, anyway, I'll let you see the can right quick. I already showed you the top and the bottom, but um, anyway. And yesterday I drank the new design. Um, Cherry Blade Lemonade Bang Energy Drink. I'll show off that new design can at the end of this review. This might be my last review of the year too. I'm not for sure if I'm gonna be able to go to Tulsa or not. But um, they have some other, like um, new drinks at the Aikens Natural Market. I seen them when I was checking out last time, but I didn't go over and get them. You know, I don't even know if they were energy drinks. They may have just been like regular drinks. Not really for sure. But um, I found out there's like an Asian grocery store in Tulsa and they have um like the original Red Bull, you know, the Critine Dang or whatever it was called. And they have the Caribou energy drink and a shark energy drink. But I'll try to get those sometime and review those. I was supposed to be receiving a special package in the mail with some Latin American energy drinks. But, um, I don't know if the package got lost in the mail, or I don't know if it was delivered and, like, someone stole it. Not really for sure what happened, but, um, I won a giveaway from Stacked News on Instagram, and, um, I'm Glaxon. I received that package in the mail yesterday, but, um, that package either got lost in the mail too or it was stolen. So I might ask them if, um, they ever sent the package on Instagram. And, um, they just sent me another one, so... I got that package in the mail finally yesterday that I won from their giveaway. But, um, that was like a relaxation drink mix. I might make a video of it, though, so I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the entire can. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Open it, taste it, and get my review for it. Hold on a minute. I don't know if I showed this side off. Just gonna show off again right quick, I guess. Okay. Anyway, now I'm gonna shake it up, open it, taste it, and get my review for it. So hold on a minute. You probably don't wanna shake it up too much, you know? Because an espresso drink, it might explode everywhere, but I'm anyway, so yeah. Okay, I opened it, didn't really explode everywhere. But it is frothy a little bit on the inside. And the color it looks like the same as the other flavors that I reviewed. It's like a light, um, a little bit of a darker golden brown color. Definitely frothy, definitely creamy. Um, yeah, actually it's a little bit darker than the other flavors that I reviewed. They're more of a lighter brown. This one's more of like a dark golden brown. Um, but yeah, my lighting, you know, is not that good either though, but you know what I mean? But yeah, it still looks like a coffee drink, though. But um, anyway, the smell. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, I've been stuffy this morning. My nose has been stuffy, and um. But um, I can still definitely smell this, though. Definitely a very strong espresso scent. Definitely smell the mocha. Definitely smell the mocha more in this one than um the regular like a mocha um espresso one that I reviewed. Um, this one's definitely has a more noticeable mocha scent. Um, but it's still definitely smell the espresso though. Um, but yeah, it has like a the mocha scent is actually pretty mixed in pretty well with the the espresso smell. So it's about maybe 50, 50 or so. Um, espresso and mocha, you know. But anyway, Definitely smells like a pretty, probably good breakfast drink, you know, probably go good with like donuts or French toast or eggs or like um, donuts and stuff. And like pancakes, but um, and it's also be a good way to start your day, you know, because it has the 300 milligrams caffeine. So, oh yeah, boys, it will get you lit, you know, so oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, just saying, but um, anyway. Definitely has that good um, coffee scent, though. Um, definitely has that um, like donut shop type of scent. Um, but yeah, definitely smells pretty good though, but um, anyway, now I'm gonna try it, so here goes. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Smooth. Creamy. 
you can probably chug the can if you want to, but I'm um, probably don't want to do that, you know, because it has a lot of milligrams of caffeine and you don't want to chug it all at once, you know, but I'm um, anyway. Um, you definitely taste the mocha in this one, definitely stronger than the last um, mocha espresso black rifle coffee company drink that I reviewed. And this one, the mocha is more noticeable. A little bit bitter. It's actually more of like a dark mocha. Yeah, definitely more of like a dark chocolate type of taste mixed with the espresso. So it has like a good flavor, but um, it's not as sweet as the caramel vanilla one that I reviewed um, a couple days ago. This one's definitely more of a stronger, a little bit more of a bitter flavor. It's not as sweet, but um, the espresso is still sweet though. But um, yeah, the mocha makes it um, taste a little bit stronger though, see what I mean? Yeah, definitely taste the mocha more in this one than the other mocha one that I reviewed. That's not my favorite mocha, like, coffee drink, though. I definitely prefer, like, the Jolly Monster, like, mocha drink over this, and also the, um, like, the Starbucks, um, mocha drinks over this. But, um, still pretty good, though, for a espresso coffee drink. It's actually, it's better than the other mocha one that I reviewed, but, um... Only by a little bit though. Definitely in the mocha wise, it's definitely stronger. This one is anyway. But um, I think I like the caramel vanilla one of these drinks best though. Um, but this one's still um pretty good though. But um, yeah, it has a little bit more of a bitter um stronger taste though. Um, but yeah, this espresso is a little bit like black coffee, but um, definitely sweeter though, because you know it has the cream and stuff. Um, but yeah, definitely try it if you can find it. I got my local grocery store Homeland for $2.69 before tax. Um, it has a cool can design. I like the look of it. I like the colors of it and stuff. Energy-wise, it works really good. It has 300 milligrams of caffeine, so I'd say energy-wise. Um, it'll probably last about five and a half hours, about six and a half hours of energy. So, oh yeah, boys, it will get you lit. It will get you lit, you know, just saying. So yeah, don't OD, drink in moderation. It definitely will get you lit. It has 300 milligrams of caffeine. So yeah, you probably shouldn't drink, have any anxiety problems or any heart conditions. Um, but yeah, it's definitely really strong. It'll definitely get you lit. So ah oh, yeah, boys. Ah oh, yeah, ah oh, yeah, ah oh, yeah, ah oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, the taste is good. But um, maybe if it was a little bit sweeter, it'd be even better. But um, yeah, it has a little bit of a, too much of a bitter taste for me. But um, still okay though. But um, anyway, I'm going to get the Rich Mocha Black Rifle Coffee Company Espresso 300 milligrams Triple Shot Energy Drink. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. So, oh yeah, boys, it's lit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's lit. I give it a 9 out of 10. Energy wise, it works really good. It has a cool can design. It's okay priced. It has a cool can design. The taste is good, but um, definitely could be sweeter though. You can definitely taste the mocha more in this than the last mocha one of these that I reviewed. But I um, mean, yeah, it's still pretty good though. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. So, oh yeah, boys, it's lit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I give it a 9 out of 10. Oh yeah. But yeah, my favorite one of these drinks, I guess, is the caramel vanilla one. That one's actually really good. So, oh yeah, boys, oh yeah. But um, anyway, um, I don't know what I'll be reviewing in my next review, but um, before I end this review, I'm going to show off the new design, um, Cherry Blade Lemonade Bang Energy Drink. So, hold on a minute. Yeah, I got this can a couple days ago. It's a new design, Cherry Blade Lemonade Bang Energy Drink. I drank it yesterday. Pretty much tastes the same as the old design version. So now the can's like really green though, and it's red. Definitely mo looks more like a cherry limeade energy drink instead of cherry lemonade. Definitely tastes more like cherry limeade too though, but I mean, you know what I mean, but I'm anyway. But um, yeah, I got it for an okay price, like around two twenty-five or so. But um, yeah, the can design's pretty much the same as like the other new design cans though. Yeah, I'd probably give it a, still give it like a 10 out of 10, I think, is what I gave it in the old design version. Since, you know, it pretty much tastes the same, though. It's just in the newer can. But, um, yeah, I finally got that new design can, so I just wanted to show that off right quick. But I'm anyway, see more videos since you're watching. See you guys later. Peace out. But um, anyway, yeah, peace out and bye. And just wanted to mention, um, those would be like good drinks that I reviewed on Christmas anyway. Because yeah, it's red and green. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah.